Hey everyone and welcome back or if you're new here, my name is Josh and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the TD Cash credit card. So I'm going to be going over the main features of this card, its pros as well as its drawbacks. So hopefully by the end of this video you should have a much better idea of whether or not this card is a good fit for you. But before we go ahead and dive into the main features of this card, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like. That just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Also, if you would like to receive a few free stocks in a pinned comment below as well as in the description box, I will be leaving a few different links where you can receive just that. Okay, so diving right into the main features of the TD Cash credit card. Starting out, if you're able to spend at least $500 within the first 90 days of having this credit card, you will be earning a spend bonus of $150. So that's $150 just for spending $500 on this card within the first 90 days, which for most people is not going to be too difficult to do. Now, on top of that, starting out, you're going to have a 3% cashback category, a 2% cashback category, and then on everything else, it's going to be 1% cash back. So starting out, they are going to automatically make your 3% category dining, and then 2% category is going to be grocery stores. Then every quarter after that, you can choose from dining, grocery stores, entertainment, gas, and travel for your 3% cash back category and your 2% cash back category. So obviously the category that you spend most in out of all those that I just mentioned, you might want to make your 3% cash back category unless you have another credit card where you're currently using that card in that category. And then your second most spent category would obviously be the 2% cash back category. And then of course, as I mentioned just a moment ago, on all other transactions, not in your 3% category and not in your 2% category, you're only going to be earning 1% cash back. Now, on top of all of that, you're also going to be earning some other pretty good benefits with this card. So just for example, you're going to have cell phone protection. So you can get reimbursed for your stolen or damaged cell phone when you pay your cell phone bill with this credit card. You're also going to be receiving purchase security. So if an item you purchase using this card is stolen or damaged due to fire, vandalism, or accidentally discharged water or certain weather conditions within the first 90 days, purchase security can replace, repair, or reimburse the eligible item. And finally, you're also going to receive extended warranty protection, which adds up to one additional year of coverage on select items that you purchase with this credit card. Now, another pretty good feature of this credit card, and it may not fit for everyone, is that for the first 12 months, you will have a 0% intro APR on balance transfers. So let's say, for example, you currently have another credit card that you're paying interest on every single month because it has a very high balance. And for whatever reason, you're just not able to pay it down at this point in time. Well, you can transfer that balance over to this credit card. And for the first 12 months, you will not be paying any type of interest because you will have a 0% intro APR. Now, please keep in mind that after those 12 months are up, your APR is then going to shoot up to 19.99, 24.99, or 29.99% APR. So if you happen to do this balance transfer, make sure that you take advantage of it and you pay this down. So that way after 12 months, you won't have any type of balance and you will no longer have to pay interest on that balance. Now, while we're on the topic of APR, we're also going to be discussing the purchase APR starting out, as well as the other fees that you can expect to receive with this credit card. So starting out, your purchase APR is going to be 19.99, 24.99, or 29.99% APR. And that's going to be starting from the very first day on purchases. This won't apply to your balance transfers. You will have a 0% intro APR on your balance transfers. Now on top of that, other fees that you can expect with this credit card, if you happen to take out a cash advance, your cash advance fee is going to be either $10 or 5% of the amount of each cash advance, whichever happens to be greater. And then your APR for cash advances is going to be 30.24%. Now on this channel, we definitely recommend that you stay far away from cash advances. So if you can stay far away from it, I would definitely recommend that you do so, even though of course this is not legally financial advice. Now on top of that, if you happen to do a balance transfer, even though there is going to be a 0% intro APR starting out for the first 12 months, there is going to be a fee to do that balance transfer. Unfortunately, that fee is going to be either $5 or 3% of the amount of each balance transfer, whichever happens to be greater. Now if you happen to pay late or have a return payment, there can also be a fee of up to $40. Now if you pay late for the first or second time, you might try calling into 
to TD Bank, see if they will waive that fee. It is very possible that they do, but try not to pay late. That way you won't even have a chance of having that fee of once again up to $40. Now on top of that, this is a car that you probably will want to leave behind if you happen to travel abroad. That is because there is going to be a foreign transaction fee of 3%. So this is a card you'll probably want to leave behind. But thankfully, as far as annual fees go, well, with this card, there are no annual fees. So that's a great thing because you don't have to sit around and wonder whether or not you're receiving enough benefits with this card to make it worth it to pay any type of annual fee because again, there is no annual fee with this credit card. Okay, so now that I went over the main features as well as the APR and fees with the TD Cash credit card, I'm not gonna go into what I consider to be the biggest pros and cons of this credit card. So we're gonna start out with the good things to this credit card. Starting out, the first pro is the fact that you can earn that $150 spend bonus as long as you're able to spend at least $500 within the first 90 days of having this credit card. Again, for most people, that is not going to be overly difficult to do. So that's basically going to be $150 off, $500 in spend. So that is a pretty good discount. Now, on top of that, for the first six months of having this credit card, I actually didn't even mention that in the main features for the first six months on gas transactions. You are going to be earning 5% cash back in that category. That is once again going to be the, for the first six months. It's going to be either the first six months or $6,000 in spend, whichever you happen to hit first. Then on top of that, you're also going to be earning 3% cash back and 2% cash back in your top two spending categories, whichever ones you happen to choose. And then finally, there is no annual fee, which again is a pretty good pro, at least in my book, because you don't have to sit around and wonder whether or not this card is worth keeping, because after all, there is no fee with this credit card. So now that I went over the pros of this card, we're now gonna go ahead and dive into the drawbacks of this card. Starting out is the fact that you're only going to be earning 1% cash back in every single other category, other than the 3% and 2% category that you pick. So that's pretty much below average and you might want to consider using another credit card, one that earns one and a half to 2% cash back across the board, such as the City Double Cash Card or the Wells Fargo Active Cash Card. Now, the other drawback, at least in my opinion, is the fact that there is a 3% foreign transaction fee. So this is a card that you would definitely want to leave back at home and instead maybe bring a card by Capital One. Capital One credit cards do not have a foreign transaction fee. And then of course, if you have a travel credit card, most travel credit cards also do not have a foreign transaction fee. And lastly, the other drawback of this credit card and perhaps the biggest drawback of them all is the fact that most people probably aren't even going to be eligible to apply for this credit card. That's because the only people who are eligible to apply and be accepted for this credit card are residents of Connecticut, Washington DC, Delaware, Florida, Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, North Carolina, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Virginia, and Vermont. So that leaves a lot of Americans off this list, unfortunately. But all in all, if you live in a state where you would be eligible to go ahead and apply and be accepted for this credit card, it is pretty good all in all. The fact that you can earn basically a free $150 for spending $500 within the first 90 days. Then of course you have the 5% cash back on gas within the first six months or $6,000 in spend. Then of course you have your 3% cash back category, your 2% cash back category. All in all, it is a pretty good card overall I would say, so it would definitely be a recommendation on my book, but definitely make sure you go to the website, read over the terms and conditions, and make sure that it fits your own personal finance lifestyle. But that's all we have for today's review. I certainly hope that you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate if you could give this video a like, consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.